Hi guys, in today's video we're gonna show you how to run multiple instances in a single server. But before I do that, riddle me this. Burj Dubai has approximately 828 meter to 830 meter height. So, what if someone throws a coin from the top of the building? Will someone die who is standing nearby that building or not? If you answered correctly, then we'll send you a brand new Nimbus 2000 direct to your home. Seriously guys, it's not a scam. I will send you definitely and you can play Kudich with it. Well, now get back to our uh, main topic, how to install multiple instances. For that, first uh, we will install Nginx. For installing Nginx, first we need to install EPL hyphen release hyphen y just uh, it will install the updated thing and then yum install nginx hyphen y and uh, when it is installed then remove its uh, index.html and add our html in it yes inside usr share nginx slash html file oh look a cat let me kill it first done okay now add your web content uh, in index.html file yes done and close it save it now let's start its service nginx start yes started now let's check it's working or not yes it's working bingo now let's install the another um, nginx instance so for that uh, we need to compile the nginx system so to do the compilation process first we need to install um, certain development tools which is development tools hyphen by then install this all um, zlib devil and uh, pcre devil open ssl devil everything you need to install now when it get installed then you need to download the nginx from their site so i will type the whole thing so you can refer from here 9.9.gz .9 now it's downloaded let's see yes now unpack it yes let's get inside the nginx now configure 18 to slash usr local nginx2 file i will give my nginx as a nginx2 because it will remove the you know confusion so i will use this echo uh, dollar and question mark command for check if any error is there or not then we will do this make and make install and same way we, I will check each time is there any error or warning is there or not so we have no error and, or warning so let's um, hope inside our nginx configuration file which is nginx.conf inside that you have to you know change your port number else it will show some kind of um, conflict with our previous not some kind of it will definitely show the conflict with our uh, previous nginx so installed nginx so just add 8888 uh, as our port number now we need to edit our uh, index.html file so as i previously did i will remove the current html file from here and then add our html file oh look a b Oh, let me kill it before it lag. Okay, and now add um, our content in index.html file. Then um, simply write and uh, quit. So now we need to get inside into this uh, nginx sbin file. You can see the sbin file there and inside that i need to change nginx into nginx2 or um, anything you anything you want so it, it will not have any conflict with our previous 
running instance so now you have two methods to start nginx first directly start it using this command or you can add a um, scripting file inside slash etc slash init.d so don't worry about this scripting part uh, as you know we already installed nginx using yum so in slash etc slash init.d we already has a one nginx there so we need to just uh, copy that nginx and uh, name it as nginx2 in same file slash etc slash init.d then get inside that file and replace nginx with nginx2 and uh, nginx path also we need to refer as uh, our new path which is uh, slash usr slash local slash nginx2 sbin slash nginx2 right and uh, just uh, replace the whole wherever you see this nginx just replace at your name you selected like i selected nginx2 so yeah nginx2 and you can change the configuration files also so we have our yum um, install configuration uh, file there only beside that we all uh, we also installed uh, sorry we all also uh, made made one more file here as nginx2 so uh, there is no conflict between nginx and nginx2 so let's uh, start that thing before that we need to give permission to slash etc slash init t slash nginx2 yes now let's service nginx start oh my god it's reflecting some kind of error so let's go back inside our uh, configuration file and let's see what mistake we did okay uh, yeah this is where i did mistake we need to comment this now save and quit and restart it again yes now moving forward to our browser we use same ip and different port number let's see yes it's working and uh, the previous one also working now let make things more interesting so beside our um, two running nginx instance we will compile one more apache instance for that you need to download uh, apache uh, from the source code and then you need to unpack it uh, this apache uh, source code so tar hyphen x xf then yes now get inside this apache directory and use this uh, location um, you can use as your wish i am using this in slash usr slash local httpd now let's see uh, it has any error or not no it has no error make and let's check again no error no warning yes make install also done no error so first thing first let's edit its html file oh look at ladybug let me kill it before it lay egg yes now add our content in html file yes web uh, instance after that uh, we need to move forward to our uh, httpd.com file uh, in order to change our port number so we will give our port number as 8899 so in the listen part just give 8899 then now moving further uh, we can start our apache ctl um, by this command which is written there or you can simply copy and uh, paste it in slash etc slash init.d yes init.d just paste it in this case i won't edit anything in apache ctl because we didn't change apache ctl service name so let keep as it is given to us so let's start our apache ctl service let's see yes move on to our uh, web browser and let's check what is working oh yeah bingo it's working 
and let me show you the running instance in our uh, server so you can see here the open port this one this one and this third one the three instances of uh, web services if you have any query regarding with this topic i will explain you how to run multiple instance in same server using docker and benefit of docker tools moreover if you are crazy for my melodious sound then please like share and subscribe for more videos till then ciao